Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aries, welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energy. This is the third week in August. Let's see how the energies are playing for you and what we need to see at this time and how the things can go in your life. This week we'll do a little different the readings and I hope all of you will enjoy it. I have the tea leaf oracle cards for a few messages and we'll look from the deck we have here for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Messages for both. Whatever you feel like, if you are, for example, a male and you are feel that you are acting or you are more a Divine Feminine, go to that. Whatever speaks to you, whatever is there for you, okay? Aries, let's see. Three messages for you from the tea leaves. There are 200 cards here, so let's see. We have bear, danger, especially in money matters. Pay attention to your finances, loves. There's a week here which you might not need to spend too much or to keep how much you got there. We have the eye, psychic ability, trust, your intuition there's something here indeed here you you know that you you have need to pay attention and tower solid foundation success with effort so whatever is there loves deep deep in the inside you know what to do because your intuition is quite a lot speaking underneath we do have dog far away a distant friend is thinking of you okay so there is an Aries here who this week needs to follow the intuition highly and yes you might not deal very strong money related but there's something here is like regards your future to and your stability and for some of you you have a friend from far away could be a distant friend thinking of you you might go say hi or they could be a friend here who want to say hi to you let's see Aries We'll go first thing first with the Divine Feminine and see what she has there. And then we'll go to the Divine Masculine. As well, we'll get messages for both, whatever we have. Let's see here, the Divine Feminine, what do you got here underneath? Six of Cups. There's memories of past things. For some of you, there is somebody here might come back. Chariot. Yeah, somebody here might come around you or you might go around to them. Chariot. For others of you, you are actually moving from a situation you've been dealing in the past. It's like literally you're not anymore stuck with something. Let's see, world, four of pentacles, king of pentacles, and three of swords. All right, loves. For some of you, yes, it's something here regards your money or your work. If you left the job, you feel quite determined that I don't want to stay in that stuck and hurt energy. I got to do something else. And for some of you, you actually literally leave something. It's a physical move, not only an emotional. You are in the king of pentacles, Aries. You have knowledge. You have your own ground energy out there. And I feel here there is so great qualities you are dealing with, what you have 
that whatever is here, it's keeping you small or whatever job you had, whatever situation you've been kept you quite small. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I feel here you get through it. Let's clarify really quick here this Four of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Yes, I feel here that something here you feel like you... You actually don't need to feel that, hey, this is not what I need to do. Actually, this is good for your own balance, for your future balance. But it feels quite, you know, the energy here, if you hold back to end a situation or to leave a situation, just, just making the first step, you'll feel so relieved. Like so much relief. Three of Swords clarifying here for the Aries. Queen of Swords. There's something here about words. Something here being said. Or something here you want to say. And I feel here there's another four. I feel like it's pointless if I'll say now. But I feel here you are quite clear. We have four of swords, four of wands, four of pentacles, four of cups is there. That feels here that is something here you can't do anymore with or you cannot deal anymore with. And you clearly know it. There's something here, it's breaking your heart too. But again, I see you in that energy that I am grounded, I'm content. What I need to do is what works for me and my stability. Also, I see here there's a, an heiress who wants to buy a house. Don't pay more than you can to pay for that house or whatever you are to buy here. Because I feel here you you want to do something, but you might not need to or you might need to. It's, it's a thing here that be realistical, realistic here. What that works or for some of you, there is a trip. And you might need to shorten it or something at that extent. Okay. The Divine Feminine. Let's go to the Divine Masculine Energy. One more point here for the Divine Feminine before we go into the Divine Masculine. If you left somebody behind... I feel here you feel that is unrequired love or that you, that person, you're not loving them anymore. And you might not loving them anymore because they they are, have a sharp tongue or they say certain things which are not to your liking it. As well, they could eat your money basically or spend more for their luxuries or something than what they need to. Very, very strong. The Divine Masculine, what do we have for you, loves? Let's see. Underneath we have the Nine of Swords. There's a lot in your head, loves. But Six of Swords speaks that there is help and there is move. Nine of Wands, resistance. There's something here you feel like not ready or I can't do this. I, it's, it's a lot. But Nyan speaks about a cycle ends. And for you, the best shot is to go forward to something. Five of Swords. And not a lot of Swords, as you see here, the Divine Masculine. And the Swords is a lot of about your thoughts. Whatever you're thinking. Whatever 
speaking, whatever it's there for that energy. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Seven of Wands. Yeah, there is a lot of resistance, whoever you are dealing. And we have two sevens. No, actually five and nine. Yeah. The thing here, what I'm seeing for you, Aries, for the Divine Masculine, you, you can give it all. But I feel here there is a push and pull energy around whatever you are. The environment where you are is not that it's toxic. But I feel here whatever is said and whatever it's done seems different. I hope you understand me, whatever I am speaking here. Because somebody here is not quite transparent. If you are dealing here with a job situation, whatever you say, it says, yes, 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 we'll do whatever works for you and things like that, but feels that that doesn't. The job you have or the work, whatever you are doing financially or regards your finances, feels like in a big tension. What do you feel like when you just walk, you know, through the door, you see the tension and you're thinking, should I leave this? I feel here there is an Aries, the Divine Masculine, that is thinking to leave something feels very heavy and merging whatsoever Aries you do know that I'm here for you and whatever message strong comes will be speaking to you five of swords here ace of pentacles and the death yes I feel here somebody here is lying about something if they are promised to you a uh, a promotion or a new a new thing I don't feel they are following they're just keeping you around the loop basically and I feel here you you might you know go and try to press a little bit the things that will not go too much there's something here you need to change or you feel that is needed a change. Six of Swords. Yeah. This move looks quite beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. So if you've been thinking to go forward towards something, make sure you have it in your hands. Don't go with something which is flying and leave what you have from your hands. You might not have anything. So be honest, be careful where you're going and go forward. Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, one more card. Indeed here there is move, okay? Page of Pentacles. Yes, you might start it over on something, but I feel here that will be way easier on your shoulders as the full energy. Divine Masculine, Eight of Cups, leaving a situation. For some of you, by the end of the month, you might do this move, basically. But there is a lot of pentacles and a lot of swords, very little ones. And the fool is the only major arcana, which very much speaks that taking a leap of faith might bring you so much satisfaction. Okay? And let's see here one message from the universe for the Divine Feminine and one message for the Divine Masculine. If you loves, really enjoy this type of reading, let me know. And as well, don't forget to give it a like 
and subscribe and share and your feedback always is appreciated all right a message for the feminine king of cups eight of cups and the hierophant all right the feminine i feel here you got to look deep into the situation before you make a move. And as well, do not make a decision when you are way too happy or way too angry or disappointed and things like that. When you are in a neutral position, then make that decision, son. I feel here there is a very positive outcome for you coming. But you first need to think before you go with whatever it is. The Divine Masculine here. We have the Devil. Ace of Swords. Three of Pentacles. And the Judgment. Goodness. And the Hangman. Your message is here, cut the bondage you are in here, where wherever you are. Feels here that you work a lot for quite little or very little. It's kind of you deserve more. I feel here you will realize here, Aries, the Divine Masculine, what is all about. And the hangman, you will see the things from a different light. All right, loves. Because as you see here, in the devil there is a bondage. Cut the chains. Because I feel here something here. Yes, you want to work, but with what price? Okay. Love and light, loves. Don't forget to follow your intuition. And we'll see you next time. Namaste.